Well, as the curtains have closed in theatres, many companies are finding new and novel ways of bringing their productions to life. Belfast-based Three's Theatre Company is doing just that with the planned return of their production, The Streets. So Rita took to the streets to sample the outdoor walking theatre experience, which starts at St Anne's Square. These doors may be closed due to the pandemic, but even that hasn't stopped theatre makers responding creatively. From Zoom productions to online streaming, the industry is fighting back. And Three's Theatre Company here in Belfast, who are renowned for their quirky take on venue and approach, admittedly have had a tough year. But they're rising to the challenge of bringing their work back to audiences. Our work is very immersive and we've done shows where we've had eight audience members in an ensuite of a bathroom or 30 audience members in a lift. So it's been quite quite challenging for us to, to now try and look at how we can distance our audience whenever so much of our surprise for our audience is whenever they're so closely packed together. In 2019, we were starting to make work that was a bit more socially focused. In 2018, 150 people who had been homeless had died on the streets in Northern Ireland. Um, so I think that was such a shocking statistic for me to, to comprehend. I just wanted to see what we could do. And I think our work, especially because we've worked a lot with headphones in the past, it really allows audiences to feel as if they're walking in somebody else's shoes. A month to get out, to vacate. You don't think these things are going to happen to you. I think about my wee fella. I'm much miss him. These Streets is a fictional narrative inspired by a series of interviews with people who've experienced homelessness. Weaving its way through the streets of Belfast, it's told through the eyes of one character who finds himself homeless, having heard the news that he's been evicted. It, it's the, the process of your mind reeling from that moment and then we, we go on a journey of the different situations that that person finds themselves in the weeks and months after being given that news. A homeless man. It's always a bit of a surprise when you hear it being whispered on the street because you forget you're different now to how you always were. If you see someone walking down the street without a furry friend at the end of the lead, you don't call them dogless. But honestly, you don't know me. Talk to me. Ask me. It's a huge responsibility to take real stories that people have, have lived um, and so generously given to you as a writer uh, that you have to deal with it with such sensitivity. It was so rewarding in many ways as well, you know, to, to listen to their stories and then to have the opportunity to write something that hopefully is meaningful. Bringing plays to audiences over the last year has been anything but easy. And like the character in this play, theatre companies have shown resilience, something which Anna believes will bode well for the future here. It was amazing to see so many other companies um, create Zoom theatre that was interesting to experience. And I think there's, there will be a big craving for experiences after this. But right now, a play like this seems to speak volumes as the streets continue to feel strange, empty and lonely. I suppose what I'd love audiences to take away from this production is that um, people are people and whether they're people that have experienced homelessness or or not and just be more empathetic and more compassionate and to not walk by and look the other way. What a great idea and they're hoping to be back by mid-February.